Ok, guys, we're here today, Fabio Gurgel, huge honor for me. Guys, Fabio was my instructor, I moved to Sao Paulo just to learn from him in 2009, and he's probably like the winningest jiu-jitsu coach in the world. He has won, uh, he, he has led the Alliance team to won 12 world titles, and he has produced more than 60 black belt world world tired, titles, yeah. right? In the adult division IBGGF, which is the hardest one to get. So, he knows everything about Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, we just shot an entire structure of him all about escapes, and that was actually my idea, because I used to train for him, and sometimes we would start in the, we would do specific training, and I would start on his side control, for example, and I would feel like a white belt, I felt I had nothing to do there, everything I would try to do, there was no attacks for me, just because he would close himself so well, that it was just like, Amazing. So today he's gonna show us here uh, what's the main concept about BJJ escapes that he used. That's something that he stays a little sideways and he closes himself very well. So I think that's gonna help you a lot. And uh, guys, one thing that's very, very interesting about Fabio is that I moved to, Al to Alliance in 2009 and you were probably like four years old by 39 then. 39 right? that time, yeah. And guys, he would train for us every single day, like back and forth like and he would even like beat us as a 40 years old so i know that most of you guys who are watching are a little older and you guys do jiu-jitsu for a hobby so he's probably like the best one to learn as he lived that he was the older one in the room training for all the young kids and kicking yeah. ass yeah that's the, that's the the thing that you need to know in order to survive longer on the mat right if you want to if you wanna do jiu-jitsu for the rest of your life, you you gotta know how to protect yourself well. And uh, so what we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna show you guys in the on this series is exactly that. How can you protect yourself and be safe during the whole time, no matter with who you guys are training. Imagine that time we had Bernardo, Leon Nogueira, man, many others, Marcelinho, Cobrinha, all these guys were training this under the same roof and I need to survive, so I, I develop a lot of, you know, small details that are gonna show you on this series that I'm sure that are gonna really help you guys to improve your game. Very well, for all. So let's let's take a look on the on the one of the main concepts that we have, uh, which is turn your body sideways every time someone get close to 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 pass your guard, right? Usually the people. Uh, let's say the United pass in my guard, the people start to fight to avoid the pass, but the point is, okay, if, if, if I'm able to avoid the pass, it's fine, but if I'm not and then I get close, now I gotta get stuck and flat with my back on the mat and then it's gonna be a nightmare for me, right? So instead of pushing my opponent away, my goal is turn my shoulder right under his chest, right? So instead of pushing him, I'm gonna do this. So from this point now, then I'm gonna try to force to bring my back to the mat. Go around, go around. There is no way for him to get any closer to pass my guard, to really pin my back on the mat. Because once I'm sideways, his weight doesn't matter much, right? So doesn't mean much when the guy is heavy but he's on top of my shoulder and my body sideways i always create space to bring my legs in or turn or do whatever escape you like but the point is how to get this momentum and decide that your guard's already gone and you need to protect yourself from the cross side mount so from this point i'm pretty safe and i can breathe normally you know there is no no much weight on top of me and it's really hard for my opponent to get full control right so it doesn't matter which position he does he, his weight is laying on my shoulder which means that if i just move my my back to, to the mat what happens is he gonna be out of balance see uh, because he's putting the weight too much on my shoulder and I'm sideways, there is no way for him to get this control. So what happens when he feels that he's unstable, he's gonna move backwards and create even more space for me to recompose my guard. So, Fabio, so basically like uh, you bend your legs 
and you stay completely sideways. Yes, yeah, like this. And you bend your head too. Like so, there's no way for me to do cross face yeah, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, the, the thing is, of course the guy gonna try to do the cross face, but the point is, if my shoulder past the line of your chest, so I'm not here, I'm here. I mean, it. it doesn't really matter if you yeah. do the cross face or not. You can okay. bring my shoulder back. I get and it. as you put the weight on top of me, you're gonna lose your balance. Very easy. And I become very light. Yeah, become very light. I don't know, but <laughs> you can you can at least move the guy. Even the guy with two hundred thirty pounds, you can easily move him if you use the correct leverage. And that's the I think that's the main concept in terms of defense. Yeah, and uh, Fabio, I think like uh, at least when I was training São Paulo, that's kind of what I would feel about you. Like I would row with you, for example, and I could even do well in the row, but I would never catch you because your mm -hmm. defense was so good. And then when it was your time to to do well against us, yeah. you would never lose the position. Yeah, so that, that's what I think. That, that, that's what I believe is that when you understand the concept of defense, it's much easier for you to attack your opponent because you know what the key points that you need to pay attention, right? Okay. When you don't really understand the defense, your attack is weak, mm -hmm. right? Because you, you don't know what's going on. If the guy yeah. knows how to defend himself, you don't know how to kill that position because okay. you don't really understand the concept of defense. Okay. So when you understand that, you can train with anyone, you know? You're gonna be safe, nobody gonna, of course, you tap here and there, but you, you, won't, tap that, you won't tap that easy and you create much more chances to escape and when you go on top, you know exactly what your opponent's gonna do okay. and how to counter that technique. Okay. You know, so you, you, you get a better jiu-jitsu as a whole when you understand the defense concept. Yeah, and guys, I think everything makes sense because, for example, I remember with uh, when Fabio was training, the, the, the times that he would do the best was when there was like longer rolls. You, you would roll like with Michael yeah. Lange, oh, yeah. with me like for 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes. And he was like 40 years old. So how how could he handle that long time rolling? I think that was all about the escapes, right? Yeah, because the point is, if you don't spend energy to escape, right? Oh, yeah. it, let's say, oh, the guy passed or God, but now it's my time to rest. Oh, right, you gonna spend energy trying to hold me down Good. while I'm has resting, and when I inv invert the position, go on top, I gonna get your frustration because yeah. you couldn't attack me on top, and now you're on bottom, and I'm fresh and you're tired. Yeah. So that's all the accountability yeah. works for yeah. me, right? No. So knowing how to defend yourself is key. And I think even like uh, your attacks were so much better than everybody else because you knew so much about escapes and defense that when you were on top, Absolutely. it was the opposite. You, yeah, know? you knew every single hole. I know exactly what I cannot allow you to do, I got what it. position I cannot allow you to stay because that's gonna be hard for me to attack yeah. you, right? So even though you know well how to defend, I have a better chance to counter because I know the defense as well. I got it. Oh, Fabio, and the kind of changing the subject here a little bit, I think everybody who does jiu-jitsu and uh, one day becomes like a professor or instructor they want to build champions right and you are the one who built the most champions like you mm -hmm. built like over 60 world titles of black belt uh, different world champions of black belt was probably more than 10 or 15 right oh yeah oh yeah uh, what, what was the what, what 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 could you point as like uh the, this was kind of like the main thing i think i think one of the of course, you, you, you got to know the technique and you, you got to provide a good technique for everybody, but that's not the really uh, a point. That is a, you know, thousand good instructors out there. The point is, you need to know how to deal with champions, you know, and uh, in my point of view is don't feed the ego, okay. right? You treat everybody as the same. You put them to work hard as everybody else. Mm -hmm. And when the champion understands that, uh, because the champion is that guy that already works hard, right? Yep. They they wanna they, they are very driven. They they train hard. They they wanna be a champion. So they sacrifice a lot of things. You just need to guide them and avoid conflicts. Yep. You know, make the environment good for everybody, so everybody can really uh, get the best of themselves from that environment. Yep. You know, uh, so that that's why I, you know. I try to do at my school too nowadays and keep the environment nice, you know, and uh, so the people can take the best of them. 
I got it. So you, you, it's kind of like you provide the technique, but you also provide the environment where they... Absolutely, yeah, I got it. absolutely. And the people, when you are too focused and get the champion uh, under your roof, and uh, you think that's, that's the most important thing, what happened in the end is that you're gonna put the focus in one guy, I got it. you know, and you forget his school. And what it thinks is definitely much stronger is you take care of the school right. and then you raise the champions inside the oh, school yeah. and you just take right. care of them as you take care of your students oh, yeah. as a whole, yeah. you know? So this, the, the champions and the competition team is just a small part of the whole thing. So as a instructor, you, you need to take care of your, you know, of your group, oh, yeah. you know? So that's why the environment is so important. You, 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 you cannot have a, uh, war environment every day, you know. Oh, yeah. You wanna you you wanna go to to your academy to train hard, but you wanna go there and laugh with your friends, you know, and have a good time. That's what you know. Being champion is all about, you know. You you have to enjoy your day, otherwise you can't handle. Oh yeah. You know? No, no, I agree one hundred percent. And guys, we just shot this entire structural series here with uh, Fabio, all about scapes. And it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check it out. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you, Benadol. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.